Hello everyone. Masters India and Oli Consulting presents Autotax 365. In this presentation, we will talk about this Microsoft ERP enabled tool which is built to provide GST compliance solutions to the users. In this presentation, we will talk about its value propositions and also show you a brief solution demo. In India, we have seen that ever since the introduction of the GST rules, there has been a slow but steady emphasis by the government for a real-time digital compliance. In 2018, we saw the introduction of the EUA bill and in this year on 1st of October, we are poised to see the mandated introduction of e-invoicing. Now under this current situation, the users, essentially the organizations with a higher volume for those, the mandate is going to be for an aggregate turnover of 500 crore plus. They are faced with situation that, you know, the compliance burden shift from the vendors to the organizations. Some of them, although having an ERP solution, they may not have a real time integration with the websites. So this is where Autotax 365 comes into the picture. Apart from providing the e-invoice validation capability, by way of APIs provided by Masters India, it will be able to fetch real-time information from the website. It will also bring about a few more features for a holistic approach. It will let the organizations submit the returns on a regular basis. It will also give some useful dashboards through which the users will be able to understand what are the follow-up reconciliation issues that are happening on a daily basis instead of waiting for a month in post-mortem operation. Hence, what you can see that you know, the, our approach in this solution in the most critical objective is the reconciliation enablement, is the reconciliation as a service. It will help you minimize various errors and of course maximize the input credit enablement. There will of course therefore be less dependency on the post-mortem assessments it will result in a higher internal productivity and a control-based approach to reduce the future compliance issues. At a high level, the solution offers the following attributes. It has an e-way bill feature. It has an e-invoicing feature. These are real-time document validation processes with API interfaces. Also, there will be APIs provided for GST filing getting various reconciliation data integrated from the GST and authorities websites from your vendors, helping you with credit allocations and few other analytic dashboards information. We will now take a look at a brief solution demo that has been built over NAV 2016 for e-invoicing functions using the API integrations. In NAV 2016, we will see the setup information necessary to generate e-invoices. Under the administration, we have provided an information area to capture various critical information like the client secret, the access token, its validities and the necessary URL with the help of which the APIs will be called at the time of validating the e-invoices. Now we shall take a look at how e-invoice is generated for a sales invoice. We will open a sales invoice which has not yet been posted. As you can see there are already informations filled in. It is ready to be posted at this stage, there are no changes made by the tool. It's all out of the box, whatever is currently being used by the organization. Some of the info, important information like HSN, SSC code and the taxes are necessary to be filled in. We can see that the taxes are getting calculated. So now we can just go ahead and post the sales invoice. And once we post the invoice, the APIs will be called at the back end. 
and after a successful validation from the authorities we will get an information message that the invoice has been generated successfully for this document number now we can see we will navigate to the posted self invoice and take a look at what are the information that we have in hand so we will open up the sales invoice document and in the document on the top left hand side you can see two buttons here there is a button called e invoice details inside it we have all the necessary information for this particular sales invoice the document number document date when was it validated what is the irn number the qr code so with the help of this information we will be able to print the tax invoice now once we print the tax invoice we will see that what are the informations which has been printed on the face of the invoice now this is a typical tax invoice and from the report that is offered by the ERP most of our users actually customize them so over the customized report we will be able to provide the IRN number details and also the QR code these are the main information necessary for a proper tax invoice that has been validated there is another button here if you click that you will get an error message for this invoice because this invoice we already have an e invoice but there may be other posted invoices where for some reasons you could not generate the invoice probably due to lack of internet connectivity so this button is provided to generate once more but how will you see that what are those invoices for which e invoice could not be generated successfully so for that we have provided two buttons two data queues at the home page one for failed cases and one for successful cases so if you see e invoices successfully generated here you can see that the sales invoices transfers credit memos all these which has been successfully generated and then if you click on the failed you data queues you will see all of them which for some reasons could not be generated and if there were issues relating to the failed invoices on the right hand side of the screen there are also error messages that has been retrieved from the website and it will classify as to what were the issues some of these will call for a correction of the invoice that we shall see in our next session where we will see how to post a sales credit memo and uh, generate an invoice for that as well in this session we will take a look at e invoicing for sales credit memo we will create a credit memo first here we have a sales credit memo which has already been created but not yet posted there are already informations filled in in the document which talks about which was the invoice for which the credit memo is being raised the tax has also been calculated correctly so now if we post the sales credit memo on post the api will bring and validate it real time from the authorities and after a successful validation it will give a message the e invoice has been successfully generated for this particular document number so now that we know that a e invoice has been generated for the sales credit memo we can take a look at the dashboard that what was the successful e invoice if you go to the list of data queues you can see that the sales credit memo has been successfully generated with all the details when it was actually carried out
we will now take a look at how invoices are generated for transfer shipments. For this purpose in NAV 2016, we will create a transfer order. For the purpose of a demo, we are using a transfer order which has already been filled in with certain important details like the HS and SSC codes and the transfer details. Once everything is filled in, we can simply post it and on post, the system will validate with the authorities using the API and it will show you a successful message on completion that for this particular document, the transfer order has been successfully generated. Once generated, if you go to the home page under the e-invoice data queues, you will be able to see that the transfer order has been successfully generated with all the details of the audit trail. When was it generated? What are the necessary informations? It has been fetched by it. So this completes our sessions on the various aspects of e-invoicing.